Hello, welcome to the Video Input Back Class Switchboard video. Here we're going to take a look at a new product that allows you to change the video feed for the Back Class in your Ad Games Legends Pinball with the click of a button. Are we back? Am I on? Oh, let's take a look at this product. Within the package, you'll see from left to right these components. The first one is the EDP or FPC cable. Second is the wiring for the button control. The third piece is the switchboard itself. And the fourth and fifth piece are the components of the button mechanism. Let's review the parts of the switchboard. Label A is where the input signal is coming from the motherboard for the back glass video. Area B is where you'll plug in your HDMI cable from your PC to feed the new backlash video stream. Area C is where you plug in your two pin connector for the button switcher. And area D is where the EDP cable will go out to feed the backlash video screen. Please note that the EDP ports on the switchboard have a locked and unlocked position. Push down to lock the port. Pull up to unlock the port. If you're having trouble getting the cable in or out, it is probably locked. Put the button together, slide in the wire leads into the back of the clicker, and slowly slide the clicker into the bottom of the button base. Before we go any further, unplug your Legends pinball machine. Carefully remove the back panel from the back box. Next, remove the lower back panel. Based on when your Legends Pinball machine was created, there are two different methods for attaching the motherboard to the back glass. On the left, for early production models, there are two EDP cables centered by a connector between the two cables. On the right side, for later production models, it's using a signal transfer board between the non-standard HDMI coming from the motherboard and the EDP cable going to the back glass. Based on which one you have, the installation of this board will be slightly different and we'll cover that next. If your pinball machine has the early production connectivity, you need to remove the EDP cables from each other. Slide up the tabs on each side for the top piece and slowly slide out the first EDP cable. Now, we need to remove the connector from the bottom EDP cable. Again, pull the tabs down and slowly pull out the connector. For the later production method, we want to remove the EDP cable from the green signal transfer board. Carefully lift up on the lock and free the cable. Some further clarifications for the later production method. In the diagram below, you'll see the signal transfer board on the left and the VIBS board on the right. Between the two is the EDP cable that is provided with the VIBS board. You connect the blue side up of the EDP cable to the signal transfer board, and you connect the white side up or the silver side up to the VIBS board in the bottom left EDP port. It's very important you follow these instructions exactly, otherwise you could damage your system. Next, we want to attach the extra EDP cable that came in your package to the signal transfer board. Again, make sure that the port is unlocked. Carefully slide it in and push down the black bar to lock the port. Remember, when connecting the EDP cable to the signal transfer board, the blue side should be up. Now that the extra EDP cable is attached, we're going to tuck down the wire into the lower compartment, just leaving the top of the EDP cable exposed so we can connect it to the new board. From this point forward, the installation method is the same for early production and later production. Now we will connect the new switchboard to the back glass using the back glass EDP cable. Again, ensure that the EDP port is unlocked. Carefully slide in the EDP cable to the top portion of the board and push down the lock bar when complete. Next, we want to connect the EDP input cable into the bottom left side of your board. 
Again, make sure the EDP port is unlocked. Carefully slide the cable in and push down on the lock bar to keep it in place. At this point, you can connect your button switch and wiring to the VIBS board by carefully putting the wiring in to the two pin bracket on the VIBS board. You can mount the switch button anywhere you like on the machine. For the purpose of this video, I fed the wires through to the lower compartment so that I can string them through the cabinet and have them accessible from the front of the cabinet. I am using a right angle HDMI adapter. For the purpose of this video, you don't have to use this. You can connect directly from your computer. But for me, I found it easier to connect my line from the computer to the adapter and feed it through the cabinet. Again, we're sending a 1920 by 1080 signal from your computer for the back class. So with my adapter in this case, I feed it through from the lower cabinet all the way around to the front of the switchboard and connect it to the bottom right HDMI port on the switchboard. Here's a close look of the finished installation. You can manage the wires and move them around as you like and secure them and the board as you please. Now it's time to connect our PC to the Legends Pinball Machine. On the left you'll see three cables connected to my PC. The first cable is for the back last video and we've already connected that to the back of the switchboard. Cable B is the feed for the main display on the Legends Pinball and that's connected to the top panel of the Legends Pinball as pictured on the right. Finally, cable C is a USB connection from your PC to the Legends Pinball panel on top in the area denoted by C. This is for the OTG pinball controls to be used for your PC games. This is an example of a wiring configuration for the purpose of this video. Your actual configuration of wiring from your PC will vary depending upon the PC components you have installed. Once you put everything back together and plugged in your machine, you're ready to test your installation. Navigate in the settings to the HDMI pinball icon. Click on that icon, provide the settings, and start it you'll see right away that your desktop is showing on the main pinball screen. Now, let's take a look at the back class. To switch the back class input, all we have to do is basically click on the button that we provided in the switchboard. Click on the button once, and you'll see your back class video from your PC. You can click on it again to return to the normal view. Congratulations, you have finished the installation. Now it's time to have some fun. Thank you for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. Enjoy your Legends Pinball.